Welcome back to the Broke... No. I forgot it's not the Broke Boy Podcast. It's the oh, Of Course Show with uh, Marco Martinez, a.k.a. me. Uh, how's everyone doing today? Just took a little break uh, from podcasting. Excuse me. That's why... The, oh, excuse me. That's why there wasn't an episode up. Um last monday and i guess even this monday um just just needed a little mental break and i still and i still do Um, yeah i mean this real estate uh hard man especially uh when you get rejected a lot i don't know why it just hurts me more and you're not getting taught well and uh i don't know and it's just it's worse as well because you know with some of the people like some of the fizzbos that I've been calling that <clears throat> that I think I'm having great luck just goes dead um, or it's hard to get a hold of them it's, it's just stressful and then at work I'm just just don't want to be there anymore like I literally just don't want to be there anymore just want to quit and just go hard just focus hard on real estate but it's not something that's getting me money it's not it's not one of those where I'm like getting paid hourly or getting paid salaried it's just one of those where like it's well obviously right now I'm not making anything it's Based all on uh, uh, commission. I don't, know, I don't know why I thought. I don't know why I was gonna say compensation. That's not the word. But yeah, it's all based off. <clears throat> sorry, I'm just adjusting the mic. Excuse me for a little bit. But no, it's it's all just based off of uh, commission, and I don't know why. It's just been. I mean, it's a whole new world. So obviously, I mean, I can't expect everything to be butterflies and rainbows, but I don't know why it's just getting me. I don't know why it's just getting me in my head so bad. Yesterday, I had a breakdown. I started crying. I I just don't know. I don't know why it's been getting me so hard. And I'm not supposed to. I mean, I'm supposed to be fucking grinding it, be pushing it out. But I guess this is like the... The back side of it, the 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 side that no one tells you about, and yes, they can tell you about it, but everyone's different. Everyone's experience is different. Cause with me, it's not like I have even ten thousand in my in my bank where I can just quit my job and live off of that savings for a little bit until you know, I start going. I mean, I have a four hundred one k, but it's not like at five six seven thousand it's you know it's not up there which makes it harder because again it's not like i can just quit my job and uh i don't know know why it's just it's been getting in my head Probably not an episode you guys wanted to hear. Um, sorry, but I know I can do better. I know I can grind it out. I gotta, I gotta fucking impress that well, younger me. I gotta impress him. Gotta show him, hey, no one, no matter how fucking bad it is, fucking, you know, keep going, keep pushing. I gotta, I gotta prove it to him. Cause right now I feel like I'm failing him. I'm failing my younger self. And that's not what I want to be doing. I don't want to be failing my younger self. Or even my, my current self right now. I don't want to be failing anyone. But. 
Because I just got done with uh, with Will, the book, book Will, and let's just say that shit, beautiful, love the ending. Obviously, you know, Will Smith, obviously, you know, probably everyone has heard of him. Um, uh, Joyner Lucas, who's a rapper, he made a song about Will, basically saying, hey, you know, Will, he's my idol, you know, I look up to him when I, like, thank you for guiding me, like, you know, he looks up to him. And obviously, Will made a response, and then uh, on top of just like the video response I posted all over like t- uh, TikTok and YouTube and whatnot, and Instagram, uh, I guess all over social media, um, he also came back with a response song called Will Smith Remix, or just Will Remix, I think. And he uh, he put that at the end of his book, which made it like it made the transition go fucking hard i mean that that transition went hard and excuse me when that thing went hard and i was like damn a lot of the things i'm not trying to be that corny ass motherfucker but a lot of things that will said that what either kind of just what he feels kind of what i feel too like uh, one of his was wanting wanting to impress everyone, literally wanting to impress everyone, and I mean that's part of me. That's how I am. Or like I know there was another part of him where he said, you know, like you know, trust me. Like I got it. I'm gonna be the one taking care of you guys. Like trust me. Like like believe in me. Trust me. I got this. Like don't worry. I got this. That's how I am. And then he's like, but then I, and then he also says something about where he would fail as well after just telling them like, Hey, trust me, I got this. And then he'd fail. And I'm like, that's, that's exactly how I feel where I'm like, Hey, you know, trust me, I got this and whatever. And then I just feel like I fail everyone and myself at legit. And I can feel, I feel like I fail everyone. And I mean, Luckily for, I mean, I mean weight-wise, I mean, I'm still watching what I eat. I'm mean, still taking care of it. I'm not going to start splurging. Um, I was going to go to the gym today, um, but then just, just got in my head again. Just kind of, because a lot of people that, um, a lot of influencers that you'll see online that will tell you, like, hey, this is what you do. This like this is what you do um, for the gym and how the gym helped this person with their mental health. Which I'm not saying is wrong, is bad. Like I'm not dissing anyone that goes to the gym. I mean, I go to the gym too, so I'm not dissing on anyone. But excuse me, but the whole mental health thing. <laughs> but for you, for for you listeners out there, just know that. You know, if, you know, just mentally, if you're just not mentally okay, you know, you don't have to be going to the gym and don't feel like you're going to put your pun. I mean, yes, you can, uh, it's not, you're not punning your, put, oh God, punishing yourself for not going to the gym. Obviously, as long as you're still dieting, even if you don't go for the day, but you're still dieting, you're fine. Or you go out for a run, you're fine. Um, but don't feel like that's the only way to help yourself out with like with your mental health because it's not I mean, it may work for other for some people but it won't work for others sorry just drinking some water but yeah, so obviously, like usual, I was getting in my head, but uh, I do that a lot, and that's very unhealthy of me. I don't know why I do it, but it's very unhealthy of me. Um, like very. And I call fizzbos, and I get hung up on, and I know they say don't take it personal. Like literally, do not take it personal. Like if you, if you take it personal, like it's not that you're gonna fail. It's just if you take it personal, it's 
it's going to be harder for you because you're just going to, you know, you're just going to be taking everything personal. And it's probably what's happening with me, but it's just hard. I mean, when you tell someone, don't take it personal, I'm going to take it personal uh, because it's just how I am. And uh, I know I, it's something I need to work on, um, but you know, it's just hard. It's hard because I feel like I'm just failing everyone. Failing everyone, failing every just everything, failing my sister, failing my family, failing myself. <sighs> like, and then what makes it worse? Like people just sometimes feel like people don't like me. Um, not just with that, but sometimes at work, I feel like I just get treated differently because I, they just just it's not liked. Then obviously same with you know, trying to talk to people like real estate, trying to just trying to introduce myself. I just feel like I don't you know take I take it so personal that I'm like, well, damn, I'm just not liked because I have dealt with that a lot of times in my childhood, just not feeling liked, and so you know, and so when I when I experience it here with a lot of rejections and you know, people just not calling back or I'm calling them and they're not answering and and then I see they get they go with someone else it's just it's hard it's kind of like I've experienced a lot of rejection I, I've experienced a lot of uh, not being liked and I know it's just all in my head just getting in my head but it's just hard <sighs> 